about monitoring spirits, all right? Because we are prayer warriors. As prayer warriors, we need to understand that we have to, to get what we call intelligence. Somebody say intelligence. Yeah. Say it again. Say intelligence. All right, there is demonic intelligence and there is prophetic intelligence. Demons can have an intelligence of you. Let me say this. There are other demons which have intelligence. They know. Some of those demons, the Bible speaks so many times when Jesus would appear in a place. The Bible says and demons would begin to scream in places where actually Jesus was not known who he was. Demons will begin to scream and they say, you son of God, why do you want to destroy us before time? So demons had the ability to know. Demons have intelligence. At some point, demons told sons of Sceva. They said, we know Paul. So they know. We know Paul. We know Jesus. But who are you? So demons have an intelligence. They know. Now it becomes a problem when demons know you and you don't know them. So they have intelligence. Can you imagine Jesus is doing fasting? He is in the desert and just finished fasting. And demons come and say, if you are the son of God. For Jesus had gone in the temple in, four, uh, in chapter 4 of Luke and verse 18 where he wanted to declare who he was. Before he did that, demons said, if you are a son of God. Jesus never said he's a son of God. He hasn't said anything yet. But demons knew who Jesus was. So demons have intelligence. They actually know what is about to happen in your family, what is about to happen to your finances, to your children, to your career. They have an information. It is therefore imperative very important that we, as the church, do what he said. Jesus said that watch and pray. Now, the word watch, it looks like it's a broad word, like just like uh, uh, just a general word. But that word watch, it means to descend. It means to descend. To anacrino, to test hmm. figuratively by means of trying, discerning, having ability to know, having the knowledge. So he said, watch and pray. He never said pray and watch. He said, watch and pray. So we do have demons that actually are monitoring you. But if you don't watch over them, you'll be in trouble. So we have people who are praying, but they're not doing the watching. I'm not talking to somebody here. Now, this teaching I'm teaching you about the monitoring spirit, it will open your eyes so you can watch. You can know what's going on. So you can invert the satanic banks. You can invert satanic warehouses where they're keeping your miracle. And you can break and take what belongs to you. Somebody say amen. amen. So the Bible says watch and pray. So when we're dealing with these such type of topics where we are, uh, for example, the monitoring spirits, you need to know who are these spirits. Are they operating in my life? How can I overcome them? Now, I did mention to you before. The Bible says, the Bible speaks of Acts chapter 13 from verse 6. Well, we began explaining uh, the last time. Okay? The Bible says from verse 6. Let's go to the book of Acts. And when they had gone through the eyes unto Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew, whose name was by Jesus. Now, this man was not a true prophet. And this man was a magician. He was a sorcerer. But one shocks. He gives himself a name by Jesus. Now the word Ba means son of. Did you hear that? The word Ba means 
son of. And Jesus means Jesus. So his name was son of Jesus. But he was not. So be very careful. Sometimes the people who call themselves sons of Jesus, they are not. You didn't hear, just say it right. You may have people. I remember we were having actually prayer and fasting. One person who was with us, he was a witch. It's not everybody who is in church, who is singing, who is praising, who is doing anything. You are together. There are people who you relate. Some of them you actually know them. Some of them, but trust you me, they may have contrary spirits. Ever since you came across them, ever since you knew them, you, you, they began to affect your spiritual life. They are always negative. You may not know how witchcraft happens in church, but sometimes all it does is manipulation. I told you it's manipulation, deception, and stronghold. Sometimes certain people have got these negative energies. The more you associate with them, the more your perception and your mentality begins to change. And before you know it, you begin to compromise. You are not aware there are certain people who are also in church, but they are being used in witchcraft. Now, I want to say something to all of you here. We have those people, and shockingly, they will actually put up some negative, you know, into some people, and some people will stop praying, they'll stop church, but they don't stop, because they, they want us to remain in church to affect more people, to bewitch more people. That's why Apostle Paul, in the book of Galatians, chapter 3, verse 1, he said, who bewitched you to backslide? Who bewitched you? So there are certain people who their job and responsibility is to bewitch others. Put in deception. Put in a lot of toxic. But praise be to God. The Bible says watch and pray. Now I want you to see something here. As I, uh, I was mentioning uh, the other time. Uh, 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 that we have to understand here what was happening. Apostle Paul was having a very great breakthrough. Are you following me? In verse 6, go verse 6. He was having a big breakthrough. He was about to meet the vice president of Pathos. Pathmos. Giving back the scripture. And I want you to see that, right? And when they had gone through the eyes unto Pathos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew whose name was by Jesus, NIV. The Bible says it. Now, hear this. They traveled through the whole Iceland until they came to Pathos. There they met a Jewish sorcerer, a false prophet named Bar-Jesus. Why is he calling himself a son of Jesus? This is so disturbing. Now in verse 7, in verse 7, let's go over 7. The Bible says what? If you're following what I'm teaching, can I see your hand up? If you're following, can I see your hand up? The Bible says, go back to scripture. It says what? Who was an attendant of the proconsul? Of the proconsul, Sergius Paulus. Now, I told you before, in King James Version, you will know what the proconsul is. Just to go back there in the proconsul, uh, uh, it says what? Which was with the deputy of the country. All right? Which in modern democracy, it is the vice president. Now, can you imagine he has an appointment with Paul and <laughs> Jesus. The first breakthrough, Paul in Pathos, he's about to meet a vice president of the country. All of a sudden, someone is monitoring that arrangement and he wants to stop it. Shockingly, he calls himself a son of God, but yet he's a magician and a false prophet.
Listen to that. He's a magician. And he's a false prophet. Yet he calls himself son. You didn't hear that. Someone said, this is dangerous. And already he's in the system. To block God's people. Monitoring spirits are real. I can give you more examples in the Bible. I did some of them last week. I gave an example of how Moses was born. That before he was born, the demonic world had an intelligence. That Moses was coming. They were monitoring his coming. To a level whereby midwives were told. That at this period, any baby boy must be killed. They knew he was coming. That we are monitoring. Today we're going to deal with the demonic police. Yes. Some of you before your miracle is born. They already know. They knew Jesus was there. They, they were monitoring Jesus so closely. Are you understand what I'm saying? Some of the same monitoring spirits. They even penetrated the surrounding of Jesus. When he was praying at the mountain, one of his own apostles came to kiss him. But it was not him kissing. It was a demon. The Bible says when Jesus was taking Holy Communion, when he gave Judas, the Bible said, and Satan entered him. So from that moment... It was not Judas. It was a monitoring spirit. And when the people who wanted to kill Jesus, wanted to kill Jesus, they had to find that spirit to say, we want you to be the one to show us who we must crucify. Who is Jesus? I told you some of the people you're with, the enemy can use them to monitor your life. Your own boss. You must be very careful. Your own cousin, your own sister. This is why we are not fighting against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers. Can you imagine from the first day you started saving money, demons were aware you are saving money. No wonder you did nothing with it. <laughs> no wonder nothing substantial happened. Because they knew, they were monitoring you closely. As I said before, uh, monitoring spirits are those spirits that monitor your progress, your success. They monitor where you're going, what is happening around you, and what is yet to happen. Are you following? Now, we have looked upon a man, just go back to the scripture, who the Bible says he was by Jesus. In verse 7, it says, Which was with the deputy of the country, Sergius Paulus, a prudent man, who God for Barnabas and Saul and desired to hear the word of God. Now, Barnabas and Saul, you need to understand this story, okay? Because in verse 2, okay, uh, of Acts 13, go in verse 2 of Acts 13, the Bible says what? And as they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work whereunto I have called them. That is verse 2. So, the first breakthrough, they have just been called by God. Paul and Barnabas, they have just been called by God. In verse 2, verse 6, the Bible says, the vice president is calling them for them to go to preach to him. And uh, here comes a magician trying to stop it. And how did he do it? The Bible says he was doing it at night. When we read the scriptures there, down there, the Bible says he was doing it at night. He was doing enchantments at night. Trying to make the vice president change his mind. He was doing charms. 
casting spells to stop the appointment. In the natural, you will meet him, you'll be like, I'm also by Jesus. Paul actually will be like, oh, wow, the name looks like my master. Are you hearing me? But there was a trap. <laughs> there was a trap. I want to show you something here. <laughs> I want to show something here. Okay? Now, let's continue the scripture. Then the Bible says, which was with the dead with the country, Sages Paulus, a prudent man who called for Barabbas and Saul, and desired that he hear the word of God. Verse 8. The Bible says, but Elemas, the sorcerer, for so is his name by interpretation, with his to them, seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. Now, I want you to go to NIV. Check this. But Elemas, the sorcerer, the Bible says what? For that is what his name means. Opposed them. Now, I want you to see the name Elemas, the meaning of Elemas. The word Elemas comes from the word Alama. It is in Arabic, Alama or Alim. Now, the word alama means to know. To know. To know. Only that I have a problem. Somebody called Elemas. Who means somebody who knows. And is a magician. Who knows. And he had already picked it up. That something is about to happen. He had already picked it up that something is about to happen. Are you following or you're not following? Now, the Bible says, opposed them. In other versions, with his study them. Opposed them. How? How did he oppose them? It was not physical, it was spiritual. Some of you, you're trying to get married, you're being opposed. Some of you are trying to get a breakthrough. You are being opposed. There is an opposition somewhere because you are being monitored. Anything you are trying to do, something is trying to monitor you. To monitor you. To monitor you. We are putting up a spiritual embargo. Are you understand what I'm saying? Somebody say yes. yes. Somebody say yeah. yeah. Are you hearing this? So this one, the Bible says opposed them. Opposed them because he didn't want this thing to happen. I can tell you, I have seen so many people. When I was praying the other day, God told me, he said, you, you, you're joking. He said, you are not done. He said, when you be done, I'll tell you. I saw a jackal, an animal, monitoring so many people. And God told me, he said, this is a spirit of, it's, it's a monitoring spirit. There are so many people who are trying things and as they are about to happen, Something would just happen because they are being monitored. We need to stop it. Amen. I'm telling you, we need to stop it. Yes. Every spirit that has been monitoring your life must come out and never monitor you again. Amen. Now, let's go ahead. Just let's go ahead. Now, the Bible says, but Elemas, the sorcerer, for that is what his name means. His name means a Noah. Someone who knows. A Lama. Opposed them. And tried. He did two things. One, he opposed them. Two, he tried to stop with the vice president from receiving Jesus. Are you following? He tried to do what? To oppose he tried to oppose them. At the very same time, he went to stop the vice president from being saved. How many members in your family, witchcraft is stopping them from being saved? Now, watch this, what the Bible says. 
Watch what the Bible here says. It says in verse 9, it says, Then Saul, who was also called Paul, I love it. Did you hear that? So, who was also called? But Jesus, who was also called Elemas, he means Saul, who was also called Paul. Are you here? <laughs> Filled with the Holy Ghost. Looked straight at animals and he said, You are a child of the devil and an enemy of everything that is right. I want to just stop there before I continue. Did you just hear that statement? A child of the devil, one, but he was calling himself child of Jesus. By Jesus. The word by is child of. Jesus, but he was not a child of Jesus. He was a child of the devil and an enemy of everything which is right. This is why in your life, everything goes wrong because there is an enemy of everything which is right trying to monitor you. That's why everything goes, goes wrong. He was an enemy of everything which is right. Can you imagine? Can you imagine Paul having his first breakthrough to go to preach to the president? It's a right thing. The president being saved is a right thing. This man was an enemy of everything which was right. So what will be happening will be wrong things only. Now watch that. Then he says what? You are a child of the devil and an enemy of everything that is right. You are full of all kinds of deceit. I told you about witchcraft. Deceit and trickery. Would you never stop perverting the right ways of the Lord? Now, I want to just show you in a message. I like it in message, this scripture. He says, you bag of wind. You parody of a devil. Why you stay up night? At night. Inventing. Can you imagine? You know, you know to invent? Technology. Can you imagine? Having, have, when people are sleeping, it's busy like, making new design and schemes. How, how, how to, to attack somebody's family? <laughs> Can you imagine? Planning how to, to divert somebody's appointment with the vice president at night. During the day, Apostle Paul is still waiting for an appointment. Ah, he's wondering, seven days are going. The vice president is not calling for him. Ah, but we had an appointment. What happened? He sent a message, Brutic. Paulus is no longer answering. Ah, Mr. President, you said we should come to preach to you. There was, there was a demon monitoring with, with his standing in them and trying to oppose them. Until Paul picked in the spirit, he said, I know who's doing this. The Bible said he looked straight in the eyes and he said, you, you are the one doing it. We have to address the devil by his name. We have to face the demon and tell the demon what to do. And we have to rebuke the demon and tell that demon to leave your house, your children, your finances, your career and command the demon to come out. Oh yes, Major. Don't just say, oh, um, yeah, I'm praying. No, we have to face the demon. And tell the demon what must happen. And Paul didn't go like that and go, no, no, no. He went straight. Say, you, you're a son of the devil. 